Hi everyone, my name is Jason. In another video, I already covered how to do a AutoCAD file importing in a Kahoot tool. Today, I'm going to cover how we'll use another file formats uh, to import the uh, floor map into a Kahoot tool. To add a map, you have to click on uh, this plus button and I'm going to select a PDF file uh, as a layout. So, uh, most of the time, uh, we are going to get the floor map in PDF format and I'll show you how we'll import that and how to uh, prepare that map for uh, a Kahu predictive survey. So uh, PDF importing will take some time. It's not uh, uh, not like uh, AutoCAD file. It will uh, take some time, but it's not something uh, that large. Okay, so uh, we got this uh, layout. So a problem in this layout, the original one came as came as color printout. So this is not a good option to um, good option to just do the predictive survey because this color coding can uh, make it uh, difficult to read something and uh, if you place an AP maybe because of the background color you will miss that. So I'll show you the same floor map in grass tail and how that can help you in uh, doing a proper predictive survey. So don't worry about the coloring if customer is okay you can uh, go with coloring is completely up to the agreement between you and your customer. So I'll show you um, how this predictive survey looks like in Grayscale. Uh, same uh, floor map but it's in different orientation so uh, don't worry about that. Uh, I'll uh, giving it as an example. So this, uh, this is how it's going to look in Grayscale uh, or black and white and this will be the preferred mode of doing predictive survey because it's going to help you to identify because if you're working with a bigger uh, bigger floor plan and it's really good to avoid all the annoying things in the floor map because it's going to be difficult to read the AP and to uh, um, even there is a chance of missing the AP. So it's always prefer to use black and white uh, maps. It's again, it's completely up to you and your partner, uh, your um, customer. So if they are okay, you can go with that. So now you saw uh, how we will import the PDF file. Next, let me try with a picture. So I'm going to use same layout in a picture format. It's a PNG format. You can use any picture format. So uh, this one again looks same because it's a color one. I just took it as a picture. Um, so everything is completely depends on how you are marking the scale. How you are marking the... Uh, um, the layouts and everything. So how you are putting your attenuation levels, how you are drawing your wall. So first thing, you need a perfect map. It can be picture, it can be PDF, it can be AutoCAD. So AutoCAD is, uh, is going to give you more accuracy, but PDF and picture is the one you are going to get it in a normal scenario. Okay, next I will load another floor map. It's a typical office uh, floor map. I got it from Google. I will explain you how, how we can start with the survey uh, once you got the floor map. So I'm going to use this uh, floor map. It's a JPG file. Let me load that file. So it's not a perfect one. I'm just giving it as an example. So now you got your floor map. The first thing you have to do is you can see this warning here. The scale is not set. So how to set a scale? So sometimes you will get to know what is the distance uh, between doors and uh, what is the size of your doors and all in the PDF sometimes you will get it sometimes you will not so you have to come up with a plan how to do that so first thing if you have any measurement already available and that is communicated by customer you have to use that you can get that confirmation if nothing is available normally you can go with 90 centimeter um, door size that's a typical door size in most of the country so 90 centimeter can be converted into meter and that will be like 0.9 yeah so 0.9 so you can use that as a, uh, a scale so for an example in this one uh, i have the uh, i have the scale here so you can see in this room this private office room you can see this uh, marking so what is the size of this uh, this particular room so instead of going with this marking, I'm going to uh, use door scale. So let me put this door. So right now this measurement is in meter. 
there is an option to uh, change this uh, into uh, feet if you want so I'm going to put 0.9 meter as this door so after putting this uh, 0.9 as a scale you can see this uh, scaling is done by the uh, tool automatically and you can see 7.4 meter is the total uh, width of that room and that scaling is already applied for the entire map so uh, now let me show you how to how to set that uh, into feet so this is the option so go into preference and meters can be changed to feet so now you got it in feet let me see the same distance of this one okay so you can see here it's a uh, 24.3 and as you can see here it's 23 so there is a mismatch of one feet but it's it's giving almost accurate one using 90 centimeters so you can make sure you are doing the right thing uh, by getting the right information from customer but if you are not getting it this is the only way you can forward like you have to find out what is the uh, standard thing in that office and using that standard value you can uh, do the scaling of your map once you are done with your scaling so next one is uh, marking the coverage requirement so this is the tool this is the uh, coverage area marking uh, link so uh, sorry uh, the button so once you click on that you can select your uh, coverage area so always try to use the exact uh, marking that helps you in identifying the place and it will looks perfect okay so so first thing you have to uh, mark that first layout how you want to do the uh, coverage so this is your total coverage area once you are done with this next one is what is not required in coverage so uh, in this particular room I'm going to mark uh, sorry in layout I'm going to mark this area as non coverage area so here this is my lift area and staircase and also I'm not looking for a Wi-Fi coverage in this section so let me put this okay okay now this area is marked as gray in gray color and that means it's not required the coverage is not required and next area normally in bathroom and all uh, in the restroom none of the companies will prefer to have that coverage but sometimes you will get a requirement of having coverage wi-fi coverage in breakout areas and all these bathrooms and all even if it's very less they will say you get that coverage it's not like you have to support voice roaming and all but just give just provide uh, basic coverage so I, i'm just going to mark this one as uh, non coverage area so um, another one uh, one uh, once you mark this one it's not going to come uh, come under coverage requirement but in case if you want to make some ex exception so for an example you want to mark this uh, entire room as non coverage area but inside that room you want to get some coverage so how can we put that uh, coverage requirement inside a non coverage area so this is how you normally do it so now you can see there is a box inside that this is the big box uh, for the entire map that is coverage one then another one we put it inside that as uh, non-coverage area if you put one more box inside non-coverage area that area will get converted into coverage area so for an example uh, in this area so in this map this area will be coming under coverage requirement this is how we no normally do the uh, coverage requirement mapping so once we are done with this you can uh, convert into like you can start doing the uh, AP placement and you can come up with that in some of the uh, so there will be chances that and uh, some customers don't have any kind of map so they will what they will do is they will take some paper and they will draw your uh, layout 
or you they will ask you to come and visit the place and make that drawing for you so you can use multiple options like uh, you can use normal uh, visio file you can create a floor map using visio file you can use uh, sketchup from google for making that plan but um, i normally use uh, planner 5d uh, for me that is looking uh, is a better option uh, for me so it's a personal opinion planner 5d is not designed for uh, this purpose but it's really easy to do the planning the basic planning so for an example i'll just show you how to do that predictive survey um, map creation uh, this one is not it's completely personal one a personal choice so you can choose any tool but now i'm going to show you how how i uh, i use uh, planner 5d in a kahu tool importing so first thing it's very easy to use so you can start placing your rooms so like this you can place it i'll okay so uh, now just imagine this is your office room and this is your uh, floor uh, sorry your flo uh, floor plan for that building so you can see here uh, the size of the building uh, size of the room so based on your uh, requirement you can uh, reset this size okay i'm going to sorry it's not looking good okay i'm not going to change it okay uh, let's see okay so th this is your size so once you are done with uh, the preparation what you can do is you can directly print it and you can uh, save it as uh, save it as pdf file so here i'm going to save it as pdf file okay so uh, you got this one as a pdf file so pdf file will looks like this let me import that same map into okay so this one is i'm not able to load it sorry okay let me do that printing again okay set the right zoom level then print it then save as pdf file let me put a random name it's not random but still okay you got this pdf file import it yeah you got your pdf format so this is only if you really uh, want to do something from scratch you don't have anything in your hand so this this can be used in that okay so um, today we covered uh, how to do uh, importing of map in different formats we'll explain how to start with the predictive survey using these maps in next session thank you for watching